Good evening and happy Mother's Day. Tonight, I'm going to play some marimba pieces for you. But most of all, this is a Mother's Day gift for my mom, Peggy. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I've been blessed to have a wonderful mother with me and close to me my entire life. We're best friends. And I'm so lucky to have her still close by to be a grandmother to my children. So tonight I'm going to play six songs on the marimba. The first song is the Lord's Prayer. It's a song I've played many, many times. I've played it for church services. I've played it for church conferences. I've played it for funerals. Um, but it's a wonderful arrangement. It actually puts a verse of amazing grace right in the middle of the Lord's Prayer. It's just a gorgeous arrangement. It's arranged by Julia Hilbrick Gaines. Um, Here's my music to it. You can see right there in the middle, I wrote Granny's song. And Granny is my grandmother. Uh, she passed away in December of 2013. It's been six and a half years now. And I played this at her funeral. And the marimba for this performance is in the same place it was that day, which was Christmas Eve, 2013. And this marimba was a gift from my grandmother to me. And every time I play this piece, it always makes me think of her, uh, especially when I see that. And so I hope you enjoy this beautiful arrangement.
This next piece is titled Suenos. Suenos is Spanish for the word dreams. I believe this piece is also uh, my wife's favorite piece that I uh, usually play. And so this is especially for her this evening. Happy Mother's Day, Terry. Um, we were blessed with four children and she's a wonderful mother and a wonderful wife. And I know she loves this piece. So just imagine being lost in your dreams. And I think this is the perfect piece of music for that. When I was in college at the University of Louisville, I'd already been playing marimba in high school. And I think the first marimba solo that I learned with Greg Byrne, the percussion professor there, was a Richard Gibson piece. I liked the way it was arranged. It was fun to play. And I just loved the way that Richard Gibson wrote. Uh, quickly sought after some other pieces. And this has now been 20 years um, ago. And I found this piece titled Prayer. It's a very simple uh, but meditative piece. And I think it's perfect for our times right now with the coronavirus and all the social distancing and isolation that we're all going through at this moment, going on two months now. So here is Prayer.
One of my favorite things about playing the marimba is hearing people say how they got lost in the sound, lost in their emotions, uh, lost in the music, uh, the musicality of the instrument, the timbre of the instrument. Uh, this next piece is titled Reflection, and it comes from a piece called Farewell. And I bought this piece when my family and I moved to Hawaii and purposely bought it for my last time playing in this room at my church, the Central Christian Church in downtown Lexington. Uh, it's kind of a way of saying farewell when we moved because we didn't know how long we'd be there. It ended up being a little over a year and uh, this has been a great piece to play ever since. Um, and it's another piece you can get lost in. So I hope you enjoy this piece and enjoy some time in reflection. Evelyn Galeni is arguably the most well-known percussionist in the world. She's also deaf. And that makes this next piece so much more than just a little prayer. That's the name of the piece, A Little Prayer by Evelyn Galeni. The first time I heard this piece, it was actually here in this room, played by somebody else. Marty Weir was playing it at a wedding. I was running sound for that wedding. And Marty was my private teacher for percussion uh, in high school. And we've played gigs together since. And he, he now lives up in Buffalo. But uh, this piece always reminds me of Marty, who got me started on the marimba. He was my first teacher on this instrument, playing C refractions as our first piece. Um, not going to play C refractions tonight. Um, but this piece, a little prayer by Evelyn Glenny.
Again, happy Mother's Day for my last piece. Just a simple arrangement I've put together really quickly just for this of Stephen Foster's My Old Kentucky Home. It's May. It's the month that the Kentucky Derby happens every year. Um, percussionists don't get to play on My Old Kentucky Home, at least on the arrangement most known that a lot of school bands will play, especially in Kentucky uh, and in college bands. Percussion rests the entire piece. So this is fun to have been able to play, actually, for the first time ever. Um, never gotten to play this piece. So it's an arrangement that I just put together, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's a great reminder of how we are spending our days right now. Again, the coronavirus isolation. But I am Team Kentucky all the way. I'm so glad to be here and share this with you just a sweet melody and a sweet song on this evening. Y'all take care. Thank you. 